We hear the term isotonic a lot. So it's marked on many sports drinks and you can even pick up one in your local supermarket. But what is isotonic and should you be drinking it? Well, here's a quick explainer to clear things up. There are three main types of sports drink to look out for. Hypotonic, isotonic and hypertonic. And the differences between them are their concentration related to your blood. Hypertonic drinks are less concentrated, isotonic drinks are roughly similar, and hypertonic drinks are more concentrated. Isotonic drinks are perfect if you're heading out on a short, intense ride when you just really want lots of carbs and you aren't too concerned about the effects of dehydration. Iso means same, and isotonic drinks have a similar salt, water, and carbohydrate content as your blood, around 6 to 8%. Now this means they can be absorbed relatively quickly from your bloodstream into your gut. However, due to the high carbohydrate content, this can sometimes create a gastric distress when consumed too often on a ride. Also in hotter countries, when a higher sweat rate drives a faster rate of drinking, or when combined with plenty of carb snacks like energy bars and gels, they may not be the best idea as all that drinking will oversaturate your stomach with carbs. Hypertonic drinks take this even further. As we said before, they're even more concentrated than your blood, containing even more carbs, sometimes up to 90 grams in one bottle. Now, you want to take a hypertonic drink when you're taking on a really intense, tough day on the bike, when you want to up your energy intake to the max. However, it must be said that you should only try to kind of drink hypertonic drinks on the bike when you've trained your body to get used to them. When such a concentrated drink lands in your gut from the stomach, your body actually has to move water from your bloodstream and back into your intestines. This is to dilute the solutes down to a level which allows absorption of nutrients back across the gut wall to your body. The reality of this net movement is that you technically dehydrate yourself, meaning that you could feel slightly sick and even more thirsty than before you drank the hypertonic drink. So, it's a trade-off. Hypertonic drinks pack in loads of carbohydrates and energy in a small package. So they're really handy for getting that energy in easily. But at the same time, if you're not used to them or you're riding in a hotter climate, they might not be the best idea. Use them when you want to pack in the calories quickly, not when staying hydrated is a priority. Hypertonic drinks, however, are less concentrated than blood and are absorbed into the blood the fastest. However, they also contain the least carbohydrate and energy content. That is why they are a lower concentration than your blood. So once you consume a hypotonic drink, once it reaches your gut, water will flow naturally across the blood vessels, moving from an area of low concentration to high concentration via osmosis. Hypertonic drinks are usually made up with less than 6% of carbohydrates, so it makes sense to use these when hydrating is your priority rather than getting lots of energy in. There are many different drinks out there on the market, but this one from Enervit does everything you need all in one. It all depends on the dosage of powder you put into your bottle. Using the Isocarb 2 to 1 drink mix, one scoop in a 500ml bottle creates a hypotonic solution. Two scoops in a 500ml bottle creates an isotonic solution. Three scoops in a 750ml bottle creates an isotonic solution, but one that contains 90 grams of carbohydrates. So, there you go. With one drink mix, you have everything you need to adapt what you put in your bottles depending on the sort of ride you're about to undertake. Let us know what solution you think is best for where you ride by leaving a comment in the comment section below. Hoping to hear from some desert riders out there. I'm a desert rider, man. I'm. If you did enjoy this video, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up. But you don't have to give Connor a big thumbs up because he just ruined the whole video with that joke. What? I thought it was funny.